Hello guys, I'm Friends13 here with Nespaces, and today we're going to be doing a unboxing, an unboxing, an unboxing of something I've wanted for a long time, the Elgato Game Capture HD. So, here's the box, it's an Amazon box, and so, I'm, I'm just going to open it. Alrighty then, here it is, the Elgato Game Capture. You don't know how happy I am right now. That's just an overview of everything. Okay, so I'm just going to open this up now. Right there it is without its covering. Now I'm just going to take, I, I keep putting the camera down. And so here it is, guys. The Elgato Game Capture HD. Has some covering on it. So I'll take that off. There it is, the Elgato, I guess, like that. Now, there's my iPhone 4S, but compared to that, that is, it's about the same size, so that's, so the Elgato is very small, so it won't take up much space, of course I'm don't, I don't know how big other capture cards are. So it comes with some wires, wires. So we have a USB cable to connect to the um, computer. We have some component cables for the PlayStation. An HDMI cable for everything. And then we have this, which I'm not sure what this is, but yeah, really cool. Hello guys, OwnFriends13 here with No Spaces, and today I'm going to show you how to hook up your PlayStation 3 with the Elgato to record uh, gameplay. What you're going to need for this is the HDMI cable it came with, the PS3 adapter that it came with, and the USB cord that it came with. That's going to need the Elgato that it came with. And you're going to have to download the Elgato software. Um, you're also going to need an HD TV for this. And of course your PlayStation with the power cord plugged in. Um, this TV on my S2 HDMI um, inputs. So I had to take one of the HDMIs out for this, but so let's get started. So first, take your PS3 adapter, pop the uh, I don't know what you would call this, like cap thing, like that thing off the wire, and then you're going to want to plug it into the back of your PlayStation. Or I guess component cables would go. Oh, this is hard to do one handed. Oh, I had it in upside down. Okay.
So plug that in. Now take the other end. Take your Elgato. And plug it into that circle part right there. Like that. And then what you're going to want to do is take your HDMI cable. Plug the HDMI, oop, not my face. Plug, um, the HDMI outside, which is, I guess it doesn't really matter. Yeah, they're both the same size, just plug it into the HDMI part. And take your other HDMI cable and plug that into an HDMI part on the TV. Which in my case, it's right here. Okay. Now you should have a setup by now. Looks like this. You have the USB on one, or the uh, PS3 adapter on one side, and the HDMI on the other. Now what you want to do? Is you get, I dropped my controller behind the thing. But get your USB, oh my gosh, get the USB cable, plug the USB, the smaller, the micro part of it, into the USB part of the Elgato. Right, I'm just going to do this. Okay. And then plug it in. Plug the other end into your computer, or Mac, or laptop, or whatever. And then, it should start to say one moment, please. No, oh, of course, you gotta turn on the PlayStation. But if it doesn't say that, go into settings, and then you can change what the um, device is. And then go on your TV, press input, and go to the HDMI that... Um, the HDMI that your PS3 is set up on. And then we are not done yet. And I will tell you why in a minute. Now here's how. So turn on your controller. I don't want to use the Elgato right now because I'm already using this and I don't want to edit that much. Hold on. I need to mute this. But just go all the way to settings. Go down to display settings. Click the X button. Well, that's the circle button. Click the X button. Go to video output settings and click the X. Um, oh crap, what did I do? Um, click HDMI. Screen will go blank for a second. It'll pop right back on. Or maybe not. 
あ That's wrong. Sorry. Um. Okay. Um. If that happens, if you uh, if you click the wrong button again, like me, not again. Just if you press the wrong button, and then you somehow end up finishing it, all that just turn it off and hold the and turn it back on, but hold the home button for like five seconds but as far as we got it didn't finish anything so we were still normal non HD so just go back to Dayton display setting video output um I think it's composite slash s video. <laughs> and then that's HD right there. But thank you guys for watching, that was just a tutorial. Peace out.